Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Dark Souls, and we're actually picking up right where I left off last time. Uh, we're going into Sin's Fortress, and we're giving it the old, uh, not college try. Because this is a video game, not college. So yeah, what we are doing here. I did beat a secret boss that I thought was a shortcut to the top of the tower, and I was sorely mistaken about that. So let's see if I can actually kill you with traps. Oh no, but I can kill myself. That's great. Alright, so I'm going to have two man serpents right on my ass right away, unfortunately. And these guys do not seem to want to play very nice. Come on, I just need one back attack. There we go. Look at that! Magic! It's like magic. Oh, I'm going to get irresponsible here. Get myself killed right at the start of the video. Alright, so we're going to do a better job against those guys this time. Because you know you, you know how the games are. You get one great run in where everything seems to go right. You screw it up at the end. And what are you left with but uh, tears? Tears and screwing up the start. So I have one goal for the start of this video, and that is to make it to the bonfire. If I can fight the uh, boss, even better. But for now, my goals are pretty simple. Let's see here. There's our friends. Come at me. Okay, what? Whoa, goodness. Okay, there should be another one coming out here in a second, but I'll, I'll take the Foot Clan here. So one more stabby stab. There we go. I guess I'll recover my uh, severe lack of souls. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can a few shot this. There's our uh, other guy. Hey, Liz, bro. You're not my bro. Whatever. But yeah, they're easier to fight when it's just one on one. Unfortunately, the claymore, it's stab box. It's not too great, and because these guys are nice and thin, they're easily missed. Unnecessary rolling. Okay, backstab. So there we go. Pretty simple. Let's see what's next. I have lost a few thousand souls doing this, but it's really not that big of a deal. The bigger deal is just making it past the point of the game that I uh, quit. It was one of those I tried and I tried and I tried and I tried. You know how it is with some games, you think you, there's just one spot where if you can just get past that choke point, things will get better. Okay, fall for me, there we go. Okay, so let's not get shot by lightning and let's not get chopped by a blade. If I, once again, if I had soul arrow, I'd have an easier time with the section where I'm not too great, but for now we're just going to try and time all this correctly. Try not to get hit. I said try not to get hit. As he does some shocking damage apparently. Alright. How did I not hit that trap plate? Don't know about that. Oh! Come on! <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So now you're just going to cast lightning at me from across the room, okay. And I will do that and make the weirdest screen clipping I've seen in this game yet. The camera's actually, for as much as this game gets dogged for its difficulty, it's not because of the camera. The ac camera's actually pretty good. And once again, the uh, destruction there, apparently I think the lizardman died too, which is great. Or he was sleeping against the wall and now it's not a very cozy spot, so let's go down. Oh! Oh my god, clutch landing in the cage. Okay, so we are in a little bit of trouble. Because I want to talk to the... I want to get the stuff that's down there. But I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Hey, boulder. I guess that's one way to do it. Okay, master key. Soul of the hero. Alright. 
So apparently you can walk on air here just a little bit. Okay, I just don't want to get run over here. Like I said, I'm very I'm doing this very stupid I'm doing this very stupid mode right now. Come on. Oh, sweet, master key animation. Okay, so am I going to get one more boulder to the face? Maybe. But at least those cages are conveniently spaced video game style for you to get by. Did not even know you could do that. So let's see, we're going to just go up here. There is one lizard man, but I think he's down towards the bottom. Oh, that's right. Boulders aren't coming this way anymore. Which means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to deal with that guy. And whatever other cronies are coming. So I guess the question is, is he coming after me? The answer is probably... It. Oh, wait. Now there is a boulder. Interesting. Okay. Oh! Nope. Apparently... Apparently I am sorely mistaken about what boulders are doing to people in this game. Okay, please tell me that I actually killed something. It did not. Shit. You know what? When you can't kill something nice, you gotta kill it dirty. Great Chaos Fireball with extra lightning splash. Now, why am I calling it lightning? It's fire! That was supposed to be something clever and it just ended up sounding like an idiotic. So there we go. Woof! Now, I could try and run up there. Probably what I'm gonna do this time, actually. Because the bowl. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Once again, adventures in clipping. I did not think that that was gonna happen. I guess I have to drink two flasks. And we'll just wait again this time. Boulder comes by, we're going to the right, wait for the sound cue, and go. Don't know if I'm gonna make it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh! Good enough. Good enough. If I had just die anticipated the curve and died, that would have been okay. So we don't want to go that way. That's right, we want to take the little side passage here. Where's the side passage? Kind of like getting beaten in the face is like disoriented the crap out of me. There we go. So, and back. Let's try that again, and back. Now apparently Demon Souls, which is a game I have not played, has a lot of these kind of traps in the level. And I find it curious that they uh, had so many to choose from, yet did not use them here. So let's see if we can do a little better with these Blades of Excitement. We're just going to do the same thing we did last time, just run straight through. Good rolling. There we go. Hey, lizard man. And once again, sorry for the close-up butt-stab action. Alright. Alright. Almost there. And I'm just going to have to do a quick pause to the record. Okay. So here we go with this friendly. I have four flasks left. Once again, flasks are not my concern. It's surviving. It's specifically surviving the next part. So it's good that I can fairly reliably get to this juncture. Come on, where's my backstabby? That's not it. I guess I could just combust, but there we go. I swear that guy has less armor. 
All right, so about 4,500 souls sounds about right. Now it's this area. Last time I got way too greedy. This time I'm just going to run up and try and get it right and hopefully not get knocked down by electricity. Because my fireballs will not reach there. I cannot use arrows. Alright. Oh. 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 Oh no. Oh, there was a trap there at the end just to troll me. Just in time. Just in time. I have this is new territory for me. I've never made it here. There's an iron golem and he's probably about to throw boulders at me. Need range battle, whatever. I'll tell you what I really need right now. That looks like a guy I just killed. And we're not doing that right now. Let's see here. My understanding. Large soul of brave warrior. Okay, this is the bonfire that I have been looking for my whole Dark Souls gaming career. Look at that! That whole thing that I've been bitching about this whole time not being able to do, I did it. In fact, we're just going to go ahead and leave a message that says... I did it! Yay, I've never written that message before. But I did today, so... Exciting, exciting times. I did want to just give it like one or two more tries here. And after a little bit of controversy and everything, I could say that yeah, I did. So, let's see here. Five flasks. We're going to see if that's enough for now, but at this point I think it's just a matter of trying to go forward and seeing what uh, lies in store. So let me just check something real quick. So let's see what's next. Now we've obviously got the bonfire down there. And I don't know how we get back up. Hopefully there's not like some terrible place where we have to go through. I think we're pretty good here if this is it. As the whole area is reset, I can kill that guy if I want to. I don't think there's any treasure there that I need. But those four blades, you can see another blood stain from so many people that have died there. I so almost died so many times. And I don't know which way I'm supposed to go at all. This is awesome. I actually have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So do I go over and fight that golem? Do I fight this black knight? You bet your ass I do. This is like easy mode compared to what I've been doing earlier in the game, except you have way better armor now. I guess the question is do I want to parry you? You're going to try and parry me, so... Okay. Almost there. Flask it up all you want. And what did you drop? Titanite shark. Not bad. Okay, there's another knight down there, and it looks like there's a treasure chest that is probably not a mimic. I say probably. So let's see what else we got. I so could have parried that. Combo! Alright. I guess this is where I could be using Combust. Because these guys, I remember early on in the game when you fight the legit Black Knight. It's just like his attacks break your guard entirely. Let's see here, so. Attack the chest. I think we're good. What do we got? A flame stone plate ring. Don't know what that does. Probably nothing that I'll be equipping right now. Boost fire defense, which is pretty nice, but Ring of Favor protection breaks if I unequip it. And uh, Havel's Ring, well, it gives you more stamina unless you wear better armor. Not that I'm taking advantage of it right now, but hey, secret little tiny side pads. That's what these kind of games are all about with optional equipment. So next on the list of places to die is up here. I may be able to kill that guy, I may not. You can see we're going higher up above the parish than I've ever been. But this is not the guy we're looking for. If I remember right, we're trying to go over here. There is, if I remember right, a merchant that you have to jump across over there to get to. Let's try it. Oh! 
two of you guys. Seriously? That was not what I was expecting. Oh, death. Well, you know, I was expecting to jump a little bit better than that. It's a little disappointing. But hey, now that I fell through that gap, there's yet another treasure. Alright, so in theory you're supposed to be able to j roll jump over that and make it to the other side or something. And supposedly there's a merchant there that sells stuff. Allegedly. But I guess what I'm trying to do instead now is just to get to the next zone. Which means, I don't know. I'll try this way. I don't think this way does me any good, especially with the... Whoa. Okay, so somebody's shooting shit at me. There is a big-ass Black Knight over there. Fire all behind me. At this rate, what do I really have to lose but my lunch by taking this guy on? So, That's what Dark Souls is all about, isn't it? After all, I do have a lot of pyromancy, so... No backstabbing. Oh, it's just you. Okay. Come on, where's my backstab at? Apparently nowhere to be found. Maybe his armor prevents backstab. Hey, crotch. Okay, so that little black circle there means someone just cast a miracle. Okay, so there's your two swings, but I just want you back in the middle. Oh, unnecessary damage. I guess I could have been gone two-handed if I could just dodge all these attacks. Just gotta get one more good hit in. Yay! More victory! Do I get a Black Knight Giant Mace? No, I don't. Does that guy return? I don't know. Does that get us to the big tower? Maybe. Let's give it a shot. I don't know what the hell I'm doing at this point. We'll just slide on down and see where this takes us. Hey, that's, by the way, for those who don't know, that's a ghost of somebody else who is also playing this game right now. So up to the keep, up to the tower. Whoa, that's a new archer armor. You are actually taking a surprising amount of hits. And you have a scary ass tiny sword. So I guess this is a, a look at things to come, right? Which means I'll give him something to check out. Okay, so you're on fire. There we go. That's one way to clear that guy. Pick up an item. 4,000 souls. Rickard's Rapier. Cool. Sounds like that's something... That sounds like when you get the big sound like that, that that's actually somebody... It's a tough fight, so... That felt like a mini-boss. What do we know about Rickard's Rapier? We know that we went the wrong way for it, so... Thrust weapon. I don't have the required decks for it. A rapier with intricate decorations. Chosen weapon of the infamous undead prince Rickard. Rickard exploits are told in Monomyth. He is born into royalty, but wandered in the lands of fateful, ill-conceived journey. He became undead and disappeared up north. So. Interesting. Did I just kill the guy that set me free? Well, I'll have to watch the, uh... I'll have to watch this video again just to see. Now, is there another mimic here? I guess is what I really want to know. Does not look like it. One and two. Always got to check. Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Don't really intend on dying and using it. Divine Blessing. Actually do not know what Divine Blessing is, so 
We're not going to use it. Someone can tell me what it is later. Or I can just look it up. So I have three flasks left. Probably not going to spell too well for the boss, but... At least we've gone the alternate route and done some alternate things as we are now looking at kind of the tippy top of Sen's Fortress. S-E-N. I don't know where the man himself is. But now we have to avoid some golem fire again, so... Said, I'm sure there's a way that you can jump to the left and make that landing, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going to go this way and go on up. Avoid the big fire. Hopefully avoid some trap that's inevitably going to kill me right here. Because you know how these games work. They lure you into safety and then you're not safe. Like, let's see here. Nothing big here. A parish. What else is that? Parish, burg, battlements. Dog wagging ears. Oh no! Oh no no no. That wasn't supposed to that wasn't in the script. Fortunately it didn't fall all the way down. Okay, well. Now we have two flasks. And an incompetent platformer. That was totally on me. Okay, so let's not take unnecessary damage. I actually can... I may as well just reset. Since I'm right here, since I only have two flasks. And let's level up. Let's not use these souls and then burn them. I'm going to actually level up my attunement. It's one away. Because I did get uh, the uh, spell to do things with. So let's actually go ahead and... Un oh, let's see here. Combustion is good. Power within is good. I had one more attunement slot. I mean, I do have some souls that I can use to uh, possibly level up a little more. But I feel pretty good about that. I don't really need too much attunement on top of what I already have. So I don't know if those guys come back either. That one guy last video was a pretty easy fight. I still feel kind of nervous saying, Dude, why don't people go through here? It's so easy. But they are just going to throw fire at me because they're those kind of guys. Maybe this time I can do things like basic corners. So at least I'm not getting a bunch of lag. Okay, so we do have an archer coming from somewhere. And that may be Rickard again. Oh, Rickard. Shooting your arrows like you own the place. Now let's see if we can actually do this. Cornering. There we go. And there's the guy we want to see. The uh, big actual fight. Okay, so you are... You're just an undead. You're, not, you're nothing special. You're not going to drop me main item number seven. Okay, now here is a, a big iron golem boss. And I can maybe run up here and get something. Might as well see what's up here. Since this is a full playthrough. Okay, it looks like we have one of these guys. Who's not so bad, but not really who I'm trying to fight. Unless I need to kill him just for the sake of killing. And there's a whole other area over there. Like I said, that guy wasn't so bad. What do we have here? Weakness, lightning. Well, that's cute because we don't have lightning. We have power within. Oh, I just S this flask because I'm stupid. Okay, so power within. It's kind of bad that I S this first because power within hurts you. But here's the iron golem. There is a trick to beating this guy. And it's to not make him fall off the bridge. Preferably not by doing that. Come on, fireball, make him trip. 
Oh, am I gonna fall off the bridge? Come on now. Okay, so I'm just gonna lose a bunch of stamina, maybe. Come on, this has gotta this has gotta do it. This has gotta do it. No! Oh, and I'm all the way down into the pit of death. Awesome. So, you know what? That's actually not so terrible of a fight. There is a lot of avoidable damage there. But we're just going to run up and do it again. Because I want to get to the next area, and that boss seems like he's beatable. Alright, so let's traverse the white light again and see if I can actually knock this guy off. Probably should have cast Power Within before we got started, but what can we do, right? Gonna do it now. Run between the legs and recover. So let's see here. Can we get him off the bridge? Maybe. Oh my gosh, he got me. Okay, so I think I'm about to get... Oh wow, he didn't throw me off. If I were him, I, I wouldn't have thrown me kindly back onto the bridge. I would have just said, get away forever. Drink up. Okay, so this is not the angle. I want him to go timber. Falling off, sadly. Okay, so that was a wasted opportunity. So I'm sorry we're just doing this a video of watching me fight this guy's feet. Okay, so we don't want him to stomp on. really don't want that to happen, so. Now it's going to be do or die time. It's not die time. Is that a dumb move? Nope. Now my power within wore off. Oof, that was a close one. So I gotta watch my stamina here. Well, let's just end this. Yes! Beat him without doing the special fall off trick is another thing is throwing fire at me. Core of an iron golem is pretty cool. There's that guy going, whoa! Actually throwing shit at me. There we go. Defeated another boss. Got 40,000 souls. I did it is right. 40,000 souls is pretty nice. Problem now is how do I go about opening the door? Because obviously there's something that needs to happen here. And I don't know if this is it. Apparently there's a light. Okay, cool. Funny how that conveniently placed. Um, that's not what I wanted to have happen. So, here we go. On to the next part of the game. Apparently being carried by gargoyles to a whole new area of humanity that just as out of the picture from the start. Pretty, pretty badass. Just 
Just when you thought the bells meant something, they didn't. So I'm in Honor Londo. And there should be a fireplace not too far somewhere here, but here we go, Honor Londo. Another gank fest of an area. But then again, what part of Dark Souls is not one big gank fest? Of course, the thing that I have to keep in mind is that I actually am low on spells, low on healing, low on a lot of things. I think I just want to try and avoid you if you're an enemy. I think I want to avoid you if you're an enemy. You look like you might be a wall. You're not. So let's see. There's got to be a fireplace somewhere near here. Just a rule of video games. Praise the sun. Yeah, that is a nice view. Yeah, so I'm starting to run out of options here of places I can go to actually spend my souls. There we go. That's what I needed. Need humanity. I'll give you humanity in a second. Let's go ahead and save. And you know what? I'm stuck here, so as much as I want to use these 40,000 souls on something good, we're just going to raise our attunement one more time, get another spell slot, and uh, let's, let's see, I want to get to 40 endurance before I do too much else, so 8,000 souls. I can split the difference here by using a few items. And then I think I know what that one mark down there is for right in front of that guy. So, Divine Blessing, fully restore HP and undo irregularities. That's nice. That's pretty much your standard RPG elixir. So that's here. Soul of the Nameless Soldier. Might as well use it. 800 souls. I need to get to, like, uh... Don't want to use these things. Soul of a Proud Knight. Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Yeah, there's so many souls that I can acquire here, not before too long. I just need to use one more item. Sorry, I know this is the item management part of games is not what everybody comes to see, but still important. So all we're going to do here is because we're at a new area, and when I say new area, I mean an area I've never been to. I'm going to start by leveling up. Let's get that endurance up. Oh wow, 26 souls off. That's hilarious. But yeah, I'm just going to try and level up. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Let's see, there's got to be some smaller items here, I guess not. Don't want to use Soul of the Hero when I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but let's go ahead and use it. 1,000 souls, not too terrible. Anyway, my next goal. I am going to go human, and I am going to actually get greater combustion back, so cool things to use. I do want to reinforce... Oh, actually, this bonfire looks like it already is reinforced. That's interesting because I shouldn't have 10 there, but let's see. What does this say? Need hope. Be wary of... Oh, I just cast Great Chaos Fireball right there. That's not what I wanted to do. So that's not a secret passage. You, on the other hand, should be targetable. Need tail. Let's see here, because you're just sitting there like you own the place. Let's set you on fire. Well, you know what? You have a pretty scary dual wield set. You are, it looks like you are doing actual, some actual damage to me, but. Well, that's interesting. Firekeeper soul, that's what's more important to me. So, whenever I get back to the uh, Firekeeper, is absent, cannot light bonfire. Well, shit. Hey, that's what I get for watching videos. I didn't know that would happen, but that's okay. So now, have I just screwed myself? You bet your ass I probably did. 
But we'll see. That's it going to be it for this video for now. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Way to Fail with Dark Souls. I will see you all next time as we wonder, oh god, my home base. Whatever shall I do? Who knows? Till next time.